everybody! Welcome to this week's video. My name is Claire. If you're new to my channel, thanks for being here. We have some major rearranging and cleanup to do in this house today. We moved into this house a year ago this month and it's the smallest space I've ever lived in with another person. <laughs> so we have a lot of stuff between the two of us and the crazy thing is that we did a major clean out before we moved here but we have basically no storage inside the house and we have a tiny little shed outside that's pretty worthless the doors fall right off it's one of those spaces you we basically just threw a bunch of stuff in and we have learned to not even go in there because it's just impossible to find anything and everything kind of like comes tumbling out whenever we open it up so that's the only storage space we've had. A few weeks ago, we kind of were cleaning out that little shed and this stuff took up a lot of space in there. So we finally just said, let's get this out of here. We brought it into the living room and it's just been sitting here for a couple weeks because with this other unit going up in the backyard, our landlord said there was gonna be some storage in there that we could have. And it got finished yesterday and it's amazing. It is gonna be a game changer. I was feeling reluctant because we re-signed for a second year here. And it's just been kind of a nightmare at times, like trying to just live daily life with such little space. It puts me in a really bad mood. It's overwhelming. It's like not a realistic way to live. So this storage space is gonna be so nice. It's gonna make my life so much easier. So I'm gonna be putting all of this stuff in the new storage space. There's also a ton of stuff on Andy's desk that's just like crap, like tools, like just random stuff. And it drives me nuts because it just sits in piles. He has a whole tub of tools under his desk. There's just all sorts of stuff that doesn't need to be in the house. All this stuff under the futon is gonna go bunch of stuff under the bed that's gonna go, snowboard, stuff like that. I'm also gonna do some rearranging, not today, but um, it'll be included as a part of this video. Gonna rearrange the bedroom and the second bedroom, which over time has basically become my closet. <sighs> as disappointed as it makes Andy in me, I'm probably gonna be taking over his desk as a getting ready space because this bathroom is not it. I have no space to get ready. There's no counter space and just, you know, I like to do my makeup. I like to like take, take care of my skin and do my hair. Not all the time, but it's a big part of my day a lot of the time. And getting ready for the past year has been annoying. And luckily I haven't had to do it that much because of COVID. Getting back to normal is coming and I can't wait and I am just ready to get ready for that. So I'm gonna go show you the new storage space. They're actually out there working right now. So I might not even be talking or I'll be talking quietly. <laughs> but it's seriously so much better than I ever imagined. It's huge. It is gonna fit all of our stuff. I thought it would be like a third of the size that it is. And when I saw it last night, my mouth dropped open and it just like made me so happy. It made my week. So I'll go show it to you. So huge. Look at this, this is insane. So much space. I'm gonna start by filling these tubs and I'll take those out first. I'll just fill it with stuff that we never use but don't wanna get rid of, so like, decorations, just random stuff. Okay, so I separated Christmas decorations and Halloween. Even though this house is too tiny, we've never even used <laughs> decorations, but someday we will. And then just random stuff in this one. So there used to be lids to all of these. Somewhere along the line, all the lids disappeared, got lost, which is a problem because I wiped everything down and it's not dusty and grimy and gross anymore. So I think I'm just gonna take some of our blankets, like our grimier blankets that we don't really use because they're gross and just fold them up and put them on top, I guess. So I'm not sure what else to do and I want everything to be protected. And we've moved everything from the shed over here that needs to be put in. Okay, I'll give an 
update. Andy's gonna mow against the house. Moved our little garden boxes. No stuff up there anymore. All packed out. Desk is a little cleaner. No stuff under the futon, we need to vacuum though. Not very much stuff under the bed. Really got a vacuum under there, that's gross. So our house is a mess. So I gotta spend the rest of the day cleaning, but we got the stuff moved out and I feel 10 pounds lighter. It's amazing. So I have a few changes to make. So I've been toying with the idea of switching some things around in the bedroom. I'm thinking maybe we could move the bed where the dresser is and have it face that wall. And then we could rotate the TV so it faces the bed and maybe we could put the dresser on that wall and I don't know where we would put the nightstand but I really hate how so against the wall the bed is and it's like cut off because there's those drawers there and it's really hard to make the bed or get on that side of the bed I'm just wondering if it might help if we move the spot of the bed I don't know I've just been thinking about it and then in here I'm hoping to move the desk in that corner instead of that one so it can be facing out the window and get some light and then move the futon where the desk is and maybe put the mirror between the two if it will fit right there on the wall where the paper shredder is and then that way I could move all of my like beauty stuff onto Andy's desk and uh, that can be my getting ready space. And then I could put some clothes and stuff in the drawers instead of having these random piles of clothes all over the room because it's just a mess all the time and I can't stand it. Um, and then I was thinking maybe I'd get a independent standalone coat rack and it could go where the mirror is, just a small one. So I could hang some more clothes because my closet is jam packed. There's like no room um and you know like i said i have those random piles of clothes like you know when you wear something once but it wasn't worn enough to be dirty but you don't want to hang it back up like it's fully clean so you just find yourself like with all these piles of clothes around your room and yeah i just have a lot of that and it drives me nuts i don't like there to just be piles of things so that's kind of what i'm thinking for this room and then we just got to give everything a good vacuum because we haven't like fully vacuumed it's probably since last summer with just all the stuff that's been in here. So just gonna probably start the vacuuming process today. And then in the next few weeks, start rearranging if we decide that it'll be helpful. So I think for today, I'm gonna be done. Throughout the week, I'll vacuum the whole house cause it really needs to be vacuumed. And then I'll finish out this video by showing you how I rearrange the rooms. So see you on a different day but in vlog time, it'll be a couple seconds. This is the clothes rack I got from Target. Um, working on putting it together. I hate doing this kind of stuff, but I have to. But it's gonna be perfect, I think, because it will fit right here. And that will give just enough space for the door. Almost fell over, tripping on that. It'll give this door just enough space to open. All done. 
perfect fit. Just enough space for the door. The mirror's been rubbing against the wall, so that doesn't look too great. <laughs> Have to fix that. Move to the futon where the desk was. Move the desk where the futon was. So I rearranged both my closet room, which I'm now referring to this second bedroom, bedroom as, it is my closet. And I rearranged the bedroom. I didn't uh, record myself rearranging the bedroom though, cause this video is getting kind of long, but I love the new setup. I feel like I have more space. I have more room to get ready and do stuff. So I'm excited about it. I um, just finished it up today. So here are the final clips of how everything turned out. 